apart from the result, what what were the aspects of your game as a as a team that were in particular pleasing? Um, you know, I thought obviously, um, you know, let's say when we go down to thirteen men, we we actually I think we won that period. I think we were three three nil for that period alone. Um, and then with fourteen men. Uh, it was great that there was just focus on kind of like that task by task kind of moment by moment <coughs> uh, challenge uh, that presented it, be it, be it a scrum and trying to problem solve around that uh, on both sides of the ball or a line out and problem, trying to problem solve around that. And, um, you know, Dev managed that really well with the line out. Um, you know, Connor and Rory managed the, the scrum very well. <coughs> and then Jacko obviously calling the plays uh, <coughs> around where we were. Um, and obviously our, our, our numbers. So that, that whole, where, we, th where the panic didn't set in and we were, you know, that kind of focus that we had was, was really impressive, especially with such a, um, such a young squad that we have here. Um, so that's, you know, that's something to, to take some uh, confidence from. There's talk that taking Jared out of the midfield to full back might compromise defensive organization. It certainly didn't appear to be the case. No, I thought the two boys marshaled the center pretty well at the weekend and Jared um, cleaned up a lot of it. I think though he, ha he had to make very few tackles but I think he made a count when he did and especially at the very end um, but you know, you know I think everyone um, stepped up and just took their opportunity last week and that's what kind of international rugby is about really um, especially for some guys who um, don't have a whole lot of international experience but um, it's, it's great to see some of these guys um, really, you know, kind of grow into it. Like Luke, for example, um, I remember playing with him in 2013 Six Nations, which didn't exactly go according to us, but he was showing promise then, and how he's grown. Same with Paddy as well. Um, so it's it's great to see the guys come down here and not be phased. Um, but uh, yeah, they've got a good head on their shoulders, and, and they're not getting too carried away. We're, we're quite focused on on the challenge that's uh, going to be presented this weekend. You know, how do you approach this weekend, especially in a spot where? Not many teams come and, and win, and a lot of your players probably haven't played it before. You know, we have a lot of experience, like in European rugby, playing back-to-back -back games. Um, and I can, I can tell you, like from my own, and I know it's a club, a club game, which is quite different to international rugby, but in European level, it, it's up there. It's not too far off international rugby. And those Christmas back-to-back -back games, um, I'm sure, I, I don't know if you've seen them yourselves, but like, I mean, one team can run away with it one week, you know, and then the following week, it's, it's, it's a completely different side. And the, the, the other team that got beat out the gate, it comes flying back, you know, and, and even in tight games where one game might be tight, the, the first week, the next game, it's, it's blown wide open, you know. Um, so when you play these internationals back to back, with all the analysis that goes in and the knowledge that players have of other players, that of what, like attacking and defensive coaches of both sides are learning from that first game, coming into the second game, imposes all sorts of different challenges, but at the essence of it, at international rugby, it still boils down to the same thing, which is the team that makes the least amount of mistakes is usually the team that comes out um, with the right outcome. If I'm, you know, that, that's how I have, you know, um, I've been involved in what, 80, 86 games with Ireland. Um, and when, you know, when we've lost, it's usually when we're the team that's made the most mistakes and when we've won it's usually because we've made the least amount of mistakes. It does add a, a new flavour to it, an exciting flavour because you learn so much in week one but um, you also have the head on you that you know they might have not shown everything, um, we might have not shown everything, they might change their game, you know what I mean? Like then you come into mind games and stuff like that so what you do is you try not to get too carried away with it and you just, just focus in on on what you're doing and what you're about. You, you pay the respect that's, that's due, that's, you know, that's earned by, by the, the you know, South Africa, but earned a lot of respect, obviously, and you, you gotta know your stuff about them and, and the different shapes and, and know their personnel and, and what they wanna do and all that kind of stuff. But then, once you deal with that, you gotta focus on yourself and, and you know, make sure you know what you're at, know your job, so you don't make those mistakes and those high pressure um, situations.